Hey there, I thought I'd uh, give you a little update of the, the last few days of the Tour de France. Um, sorry, it's been a few days, but I thought I should let you know that I got a little bit further than stage 17, which is my last update. Um, well, sort of starting from stage 18, uh, which was a tough day and a real uh, GC day, as I thought it would be. Uh, break went away from the start. Um, actually, I had pretty bad leaks this day, so I struggled a bit. But um, the race was really on, especially over the the uh, second climb of the day. I can't think what the name of it was. And anyway, we finished up at the Glibier. Um, big race at the front. Uh, Andy Schleck on the stage and, and Cadell rode uh, pretty well to, to limit his losses there. Um, like I said, I struggled a bit that day and, and sort of come in with the group Edo. Um, the following stage was... Uh, Another mountain stage, um, stage uh, 19, um, but only a really short one, just over 100 k's. But we climbed the Glivier, uh, the Telegraph, Glivier, and then finished up Alpe d'Huez. Um, and this day I felt really good. I sort of climbed the Telegraph front group, got over the Glivier in the first sort of 30 odd guys, um, and got to the bottom of Alpe d'Huez with the front group and sort of got up there and uh, didn't lose a heck of a lot of time. So I had sort of good legs, which was a nice way to. to uh, uh, get through the last mountain stage of the tour. Following that, there was the um, time trial, and that was just a matter of you know riding from A to B. There um, had uh, nothing to prove, so there was no use going out to uh, to kill myself in that um, forty odd case. Uh, and then that was it. then then there was the last stage into into Paris around the Champs Elysees. Um, we thought we'd uh, may as well put someone in the breakaway on the Champs Elysees in case it does go all the way to the finish, and then it was going to be supporting Eddie um, if it all come back together. Um, we got to the Champs Elysees, and um, Swifty jumped in the move, and he was looking really good. I thought it might have gone all the way there for a minute, but he uh, got caught on the last lap, and then uh, Eddie did a fantastic sprint uh, and um, finished uh, second behind Cav. So, um, yeah, but uh, to sum the tour up, it was fantastic for, for Cadell to win. A uh, huge result, um, and he was uh, he was a real deserving winner this year. Right on top of things from right in the first week, we saw him win stage uh, four, I think it was. Um, and he was just on, on his game for the whole Tour de France. He really made no big mistakes, and he seemed supportive him all the way. So it was um, he was a deserving winner, and obviously being Australian, it's, uh, it's fantastic to see. Um, and uh, I think he will do big, big things for the sport in Australia, and and uh, and uh, it's only got to be, it's only good for the sport. So um, yeah, congrats to Cadell, fantastic victory. Um, for myself, it, to all in all, probably a little disappointed that I didn't uh, get up the road in any breakaways. They got all the way to the finish and um, go for any stage wins. But um, Team Sky had a fantastic tour. We got two wins with Eddie. Um, we raced really well as a team. Everyone got along great. Um, we rode an aggressive tour uh, for the last couple of weeks, and um, it was really enjoyable. So, yeah, that's the um, 2009 Tour de France wrapped up.